Hey, Jamie Griffin from MrJamieGriffin.com here. And today I want to show you um, the three basic steps you need to start your Tiller account um, to get your automatic budgets uh, set up and started. Um, it's really stinking simple. And I think Tiller is incredible. And if you've never budgeted before, if you have tried budgeting and they hate it or forgot to do it or um, were so frustrated that you just stopped, um, whatever the reason uh, being, um, I think Tiller is fantastic and I think it has the power to change your life and actually get you to make a budget that you're going to love and stick with. So when we get started here, you're going to want to click try Tiller for free. They have a three, 30 day free trial, risk free. If you hate it, you just deactivate your account and you never have to think about Tiller again. Um, but if you love it, um, then it ends up being $59 a year or $4.92. That is cheaper than Netflix um, and you're going to get way more value out of it than you ever would have Netflix, no matter how good. Um, the movies and shows on there are. So you're going to hit this. I'm going to hit login because I already have an account. And one thing that's really nice about Tiller is that it syncs with Google. And so if you have a Google account, creating a Tiller account is as easy as choosing which Google account you want to use. And so I've got that one going there. And now we're going to be at our Tiller dashboard. So it's loading a couple things up here and I've got a couple sheets already made um, as I've been tinkering with this. And the more I tinker with it and the more I play with it, the more and more I think it is outstanding and fabulous. Um, so this is your dashboard. And the first thing you want to do is going to go down to account summary, where you're going to connect your bank accounts, your credit card accounts, I mean, all those things in here. It has all kinds of different institutions and banks. So you just have to search for yours. So you're going to hit that drop down, hit add accounts. From here, it takes you to a page where you can straight up search for your bank, your credit card institution, whatever it is. So if you aren't through Wells Fargo or Bank of America, you just type in your card here. So I have a Chase card, so I can type that in and a bunch of options show up. So I can choose the one that works for me. If you have a US bank account set up, there's all kinds of US bank options here. Um, even I was playing around with this and I have a, from a tiny town in Western Wisconsin and Wisconsin Credit Union is all the rage there. And so even my tiny little town with a tiny little bank or credit union has a branch on here. So chances are your bank will be listed on here. So once you get your bank accounts connected, it takes a few minutes to log in through your online banking um, passwords and login information. I had it send me where it sent me a text message verification code. And so I just typed that in there so it could verify it was me. And once it did that, it was able to connect your accounts. Now that your accounts are connected, you are ready to make a new Google Sheet as it says right here. So I'm just going to wait for my computer to load a hot minute here. Um, but you can create a Google Sheet and there's a variety of different templates that you can choose from. There we go. And you can name it whatever you want. Um, if you just want to name it budget sheet, you can do that. Our actual budget, we just call it Griffin budget. If you want to call it your last name budget, you can do that. And so this is the super cool part. You could get to choose a template and look at all the templates you can choose from. There are um, a bunch. And so um, we're going to look at the Tiller monthly budget here. I think this is probably the most practical, most useful for most of your just every day, every week, every month budgeting needs. It actually breaks things down by year and by month and gives you a lot of statistics and data you can look at to um, prioritize your budget. Another one that I think is crazy cool is on here is a debt snowball spreadsheet. Um, when we were paying off our debt, uh, when we started off, we had combined over $100,000 in debt with student loans, credit cards, and, and uh, car payments. We made our own Destiny Ball spreadsheet from scratch. It worked great for us, but we had to do a lot of research and a lot of preparation to do that. This one, you just click a button and it makes it for you, which is stupid cool. So Tiller Monthly Budget is what we're working at today. We're going to click that and it changed my name back. Um, that's no big deal. You can change that later. Um, and then you're going to connect your accounts. So we're going to really briefly just link all the accounts we want connected and hit create Google sheet. 
and it started making this for us. So it's creating your chiller sheet. I'm just gonna keep this in real time so you can see just how fast this is. Um, I'm tempted to pause it while it's doing this, but it actually would take, it doesn't take more than a minute for us to pop up, depending on how fast or slow your internet is. Oh no, they encountered a problem. I've never had that happen before. I promise we're gonna hit retry. Um, so finishing up some details and boom, that's it, it's done, hit open sheet. Even with an error, it still took less than a minute for Google to connect to all my bank accounts and get my budget set up. So now it's gonna take a couple minutes for things to load up. Um, and I'm not actually gonna walk through how budget actually works in this. This is just a setup video um, for it. And so on this first tab, there, this is just your help screen. This is your getting started screen and the first step is to set categories and budgets on your category sheet. I've got another separate video I've already made for that. So you can find that um, on my YouTube channel um, or it's also um, in my blog post for this. You can find it at uh, mrjamiegriffin.com. And so I've got a video for this. So you wanna set your categories and budgets on your category sheet. Then you're gonna categorize your transactions on the transaction sheet, which you can see here. Review your monthly budget, and then a more advanced step, you can set up AutoCAT or Auto Categorization to help with categorizing. So instead of having to manually like choose your categories from a drop-down menu, Auto ca Category looks at your bank account and your transactions, and based off the information and rules you set for it, automatically categorizes it for you. So it takes a little work to set that up, but I imagine I haven't done it yet. That that will make it even more automated. So that's it. You've got your budget that's ready to go. You've got your categories tab, your transactions tab, your balances. This is your bank account balances, which is crazy cool that that's on here in one stop shop. Um, and you can see all the different tabs that this has here and all the different um, options it has to look at your money, look at your accounts and start planning your budget out. So that's it. I think that took maybe less than five minutes, maybe six minutes from setup to having your budget. Um, and that was with my kind of slowish internet. So if you have any questions, um, you can, again, reach out to me, uh, mrjamiegriffin.com, um, mrjamiegriffin.pf at gmail.com, um, or find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, um, at the handle Mr. Jamie Griffin. So I hope your budget works awesome for you. I hope this helped you get set up with Tiller and happy budgeting, everyone.